Ladies and gentlemen, I just found out lackadaisical is a real word. Ah, eat it. Congrats, Words. stuff man. Yeah, thank you. Where it's due, right? I honestly, I did not believe that that was an actual <laughs> word in the dictionary, but it is. It is. An it exact actually word. means something. It does, without vigor or interest. And right now, let's see if Vex can pick up the interest, as they definitely don't have to worry about picking up their game. Oh. Right now, starting off on offense, Huddle get taken out with the bomb, as uh, it's going to be. Uh, Slack able to pick it up here and push on over to the B bomb site. Smoke down, and there's actually a player behind enemy lines, but Slack checks it. Slasher actually pick up that kill, and it's already a 3v2. As Hollow drops, and Slasher's last alive now in a 1v2 situation. He's got to get this bomb in post, and now he's got to really play it smart, Revan. Yeah, you always got to watch your back door, man. Mm -hmm. So right there, death report obviously explaining that. Slasher going for the bomb plant. He might die here. He's got players on Very both risky. angles. However, wherever he goes, he's going to oh. fight a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. There it is doesn't matter it's gonna be glocky and this is what we were kind of expecting from right. this death report squad them to show up and search and destroy now keep in mind they just got beat down pretty hard on that domination they lost by like 500 600 points yeah thousand easily yeah uh, it's something like that mm -hmm. so being able to come out and take this first sign of search and destroy that's big that's a big confidence booster so Huge. let's see if they could just <sighs> deep breath wax on wax off and get get into the game here hopefully they can they read that that b push just like a book, and we're able to uh, thwart it pretty quickly. They'll move on over to offense. Glocky, 2-0 right now in the three-point streak, able to get that defuse after getting the uh, big kill there. Right now it is going to be Cazador, though, with your bomb, and they're going to be making a B-push of their own. Check out Vex, though. You've got Pluto and Slack pushed up into loading docks and already into post, and they're set up in a prime position to absolutely ruin this B-push. I, I like the classes that the Report are using here. they got yeah. a lot of tacticals available. Uh, it's Glocky. Oh. Glocky had two nades and a stun. Another guy had wow. a, a nade and a trophy, and another guy had a, a grenade, I think. So lots of variety there. Oh. Unfortunately, it's an aggressive defensive play from Vex. And well. They make that one look easy now. Very Glocky, cool. you saw him toss some grenades into loading. I don't think that's what he had planned at the beginning of the round. I feel like he wanted to use those grenades, clear out over near the water tower, right. clear out over near the tin so that they go for the bomb plant. But obviously, things changed when Vex attacked. Yeah. Unfortunately, Death Report was not able to get to the B bomb site quick enough to see how many players from Vex were actually pushed so far up. And Vex was able to make a quick 25 second round on defense to tie things up here one round apiece. They'll move back over to offense, and a B push is planned again. I love the stuns by Slash. These guys are screwed, He's man. Just They're tossing like, everything go, oh, across the stunned. map. See if he can get an early pick. And now Death Report having to respond. Stunned out of spawn, though, thanks to those stuns. However, Vex didn't really capitalize on it. Nope. Look, look at their position on the minimap. Usually when you hit those stuns. Bombs down. And you know you hit them. You want to push up right. and take control over near the water tower. Take control over near the tent. And that's uh -oh. going to allow you to get the bomb down so quickly. Trade's going to happen as Charlie takes out Huddle. In return, Pluto picks up that kill. But Slack does manage to plant the bomb. And now it's all up to this guy, Cazador. I want to know how he got this name. I don't think that's a real word. I think he's supposed to say, like, Cazador, something like that. <laughs> Most likely. But he's in a 1v2, and he's got his work cut out for him. Less than 30 seconds left, and he's got Pluto and Slack to take down before getting this bomb. You can see on your Oracle mode, Slack's Oracle mode. going to find him <laughs> with that <laughs> Oracle mode. And uh, from Loading Dock, he's going to be able to clean up that kill pretty quickly to move Vex to 2-1 in this round count here on SD Warhawk. Quick, give me a player to watch next round. Definitely got to hop on board with Nate Shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely got to see. Uh, I want to see Glocky go off. He had a big first round on defense. Clutch kills on that bomb site on the objective. Let's see if he can go big on offense as this Death Report team is going to continue to try this B push and see if they can make it work for him this time. Yeah, I just want to talk about this real quick. Uh, you see a lot of players choose to use a pistol yeah. along with their assault rifle. Now, that's uh, for extra speed boost. Right. I, I see people talk about it all the time, and uh, they're like, oh, it's just personal preference. No, it, it gives you a little bit. You can run fast. Yeah, you just run faster with it. It's kind of like you got agility on. So yeah. you get to your spot a little bit quicker. Uh, what I prefer to do is just run to my I have a fast class whenever and I play switch. Switch and then I switch. Yeah. You got like 15 seconds to do that. Uh, I wish more people did that. I know Parasite, I like that preference better. Parasite did that a, a lot in Modern Warfare 3. Because the thing he's really known for doing it. You risk with that, with running the pistol, is maybe that's not the class that's most ideal for you. Maybe you get rid of that pistol and you, you get another, another attack. Yeah, you get another point that you can use in your specialist streaks. And right now, Glocky's going to find himself in a 1v3 situation. Bombs down basically in Africa, and he's going to go pick it up. It's like the bomb never bomb left site. spawn. It literally did not. And Vex is set up to 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 kick him or to kill him if he comes by it. 30 seconds left to get it, and Glocky's 
kind of just going to try to stay alive here. Uh, so he's got to do something. Yeah. But what I'm seeing from Vex is they're using a lot of stun grenades. And I'm not sure if Death Report haven't realized it or if they don't have the classes to counter that. But if they don't put on tack resist soon, they're not going to have a fun time in the remaining rounds. Definitely not. And Glocky's going to get ruined there by Slash. Don't talk about it. Oh, wow. We don't, okay. we don't even. No words. Quiet kill cam. Mm. You can feel the tension. Yeah. You can feel it. I'm wow. sorry, Glocky. 13 million people just saw that. <laughs> Millions! <laughs> Millions here on the Bravo stream at uh, MLG Anaheim. Guys, this is the best of three if you're just tuning in. Right now, we've got Vex Gaming going up against Death Report. Vex 1 0 in this best of three after picking up a very convincing domination. We are not the nades Warhawk this time. And, uh, I don't know if I agree. I, th I think the grenades would be a lot more useful in the later stages of the round. You saw he right. got two hit markers. Now, and in Infinity Ward games, you can't get kills with the grenade in the early stages of the round. That's just the way they designed it. Right. So I feel like if he saves those nades, because you know, he's going to be a late rotator to the B-bomb site, his teammates could push up. Then he could just sit back with the grenades. You know, yeah. If he winds up, he's the last player alive. Okay, I got two nades. That gives him a whole lot of time to More waste off options. the clock. But, you know, just, just some food for thought. Casador in a 1v3. He's got a warrior. Yet again, and uh, destroyed there by Slack to wrap that one up. 4-1, Vex. Coming out strong yet again after that very awesome, awesome domination. And uh, they're proven to be, obviously, the, uh, the maybe the, the, the tournament ender here for Death Report. Yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, we have faith in them in that first round. It looks so good. I was like, all right, okay. Death I was like, Report. all right, we might, get, we might yeah. have a match here. <laughs> and then Vex is like, okay, guys, let's, uh, let's just get it over with. But Vex, you know, these guys are one of the favorites to take the tournament. So... Going into this defensive round, you could clearly see on the minimap, the offense, they're all going to the B-bomb site. So Slasher, he's got some work to do. In fact, uh, oh, wow. they're, they're ready on the flank. They're knocking on the back door. One thing I want to point out, if you take a look at the, the columns up on your top right hand of your screen, look how many bomb plants Vex has. Look Three. how many bomb plants Death Report has. None. Zero. They are not creating an objective when they're on offense for Vex to come to them, and that's why Vex has been able to run through them on defense, because Death Report can't get the bomb down fast enough, quite simply. Yeah, they're not forcing Vex to react. They're right. letting Vex play on their own terms. By planning right. that bomb, you're putting Vex on a timer. They have to get to that bomb in time, otherwise they lose the round. Mm -hmm. So Vex has all this time in the world to set up wherever they want, to push it. And you saw in the beginning of the round, they kind of ran right down the middle of the street. That nobody from Death Report was watching that area of the map. So right now, Vex, they're just having their way with Death Report. Well, Huddle's going to be able to pick up Charlie there. And that's going to make it a 5-1 Vex. Now one round away from taking out this map number two, s and and Warhawk. And if they do, that's going to be the end of this matchup between Vex Gaming and Death Report with a hot 2-0. And Vex move on to the next round. Let's find out if Death Report can maybe put something together. They do have to win five straight rounds. The benefit is they do have the defense, which is much more preferable, obviously, in Search and Destroy. I think uh, on this map, I actually prefer offense. I like offense only because of what Vex is doing right now. This A push is a force to be reckoned with if it's played the right way. And already, two will go down for Death Report. All four up here still for Vex. Pluto with your bomb. Looks like he will go ahead and get that bomb planted, and it's going to be up to Glocky and Charlie to save the series. The thing I like about the A-push is there's so many different things you can do to yeah. make it work. You could go in with strong arm stuns. You could go in with stuns and a smoke. Mm -hmm. You can go in silent, not make any noise. You can even you see teams playing it slow. But that's going to do it for this game. Vex, they take search and destroy 6-1. to one. Convincing win for them. So, Duff. Duff, man, how'd you uh, enjoy your first cast on land? This was great. Revan, obviously, great. A, a gentleman and a scholar. And uh, I was honestly anticipating some 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 tough questions from him, maybe a little a little banter, because this is my first land to cast oh, on. So I'm not gonna do that to you, man. Come on, you gotta. Even though you made fun me. of every single caster out there with your that YouTube video. That is not true. And then you come to the event, you want to cast with us after you just roasted us in a YouTube video. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm having whatever. a great time. This event's amazing. And all the casters are amazing, meeting so many awesome people, and to be able to cast my first one. Hopefully, you'll see more of uh, myself, of course, of Revan. And we for sure will be seeing some more of X Gaming. Yeah, definitely. Vex, they advance into the next one. I think they're in like round three or something. Yep. But that's going to do it for this match, guys. Best of three, two, oh. We're going to get Duffman back on later on in the tournament. But coming up next, I think Reflections is here waiting to cast. We're going to commercial break. Woo. When we come back, what could be the final game here on the Bravo stream? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 